Hello and welcome to The Frictionless Show, where we cover all the new and exciting features available for customers of the Blue Triangle platform for continuous experience optimization. Joining me today is Amir Rosenberg, our Chief Product Officer at Blue Triangle, and Nick Palladino, our Director of Product Engineering. And coincidentally, my co-host on the Frictionless Experience podcast. So finally, let's talk about native app. Now, we launched uh, an initial native app product last year. A number of customers adopted it. This is a new version for 2024 that has a lot more functionality. Is that, is that a good way to state it? Yeah, we really spent uh, late Q4 and early Q1 in really uh, putting a lot of effort into our mobile native analysis. We know that there's a lot of e-commerce activity that's happening in mobile. A lot of people are buying stuff on their phone or at least researching. It's simply a tool that drives either revenue directly or revenue indirectly. And, and a lot of our customers, um, I mean, there is nobody uh, in retail, for example, that does not have a mobile app it, that no longer exists. And so a couple of things that we've done with the mobile app. So naturally we're focused on really user monitoring, which means that an SDK uh, is inserted into your mobile application and transmits data to us. Uh, the data that is transmitted to us is a combination of technical metrics such as CPU, memory, application of responsive, network analysis, and so on and so forth, as well as the user behavior. And so the outcome of that is that uh, very similar to our web analysis, you are able to see metrics of timing, user experience, and how those pertain to, se again, session conversion, customer journey analysis, and, and revenue, and so forth. And so the same typical um, sort of practitioner to business decision uh, maker, you now can see for mobile applications, uh, which is very exciting because, again, if you're working on a mobile application, you again will ask yourself, what should I be working on today? And the analysis of the business outcome is the one that will guide you how it can be very impactful. The other thing that I want to mention is a specific um, attention that we gave for hybrid applications. So most applications out there are actually hybrid applications. What does that mean? Let me back up for a second and define the term. Hybrid applications are applications that are made of native views, these are views that are part of the native application written in a programming language for the native uh, application and the, uh, and the operating system, plus some web pages that have been reutilized, leveraged for the mobile experience. And so what happens is that sometimes you will have a web team that has existing web pages and the mobile native team goes and says, there's no point in reinventing that. It could be a product page. It could be a checkout page. Why would we go and reinvent that? When you come to the analysis and you're trying to ask yourself, well, what is the overall customer journey? You would find sometimes that the customer journey starts from the application launch, right? Which is a, typically a native view, but it might traverse through web pages and it might come back. You would want to see that entire journey represented in a single thread, in a single session, right? And so we have the ability to provide the business as a unified session but at the same time, when the web team wants to analyze how does this web page behave when it's in a browser context or inside a native app context, they can do that. So we have the filtering and the setup to do that. Similarly, for a native team, if you're a native practitioner or a product manager, we have the filtering to allow you to look at native views with or without the web views. And so that that filtering together really provides the right tooling for the web team, for the mobile team, and for the business owner. And I think what's actually even more profound here that allows us to really hone in on where value should be is in hybrid applications, you have two separate owners. You have your native team and you have your web team. But how do you know which of the two you need to prioritize against the biggest KPI that's most impactful for your native app? Because as far as your user's concerned, they don't care that it's hybrid. They just care that it works and that they can complete their journey. So if we can help to isolate and figure out which of those steps in their journey matter the most for you, that's where you can take your app from good to great. Gotcha. Well, so similar to what a web team has today, where they're able to go in and say, hey, across all these pages, the friction on these three pages is costing us 80% of the revenue loss. The rest are 20%. Let's focus there. They're going to be able to do the exact same thing in the mobile app, in their native app. Okay. 
and they'll be able to explore the customer journey as well and see what are the successful journeys, not successful journeys, journeys of different paths. And in those journeys, they're going to be able to see both native app screens as well as hybrid web pages that are being served up inside the app. Exactly. So you'll be able to see the conversion from one to another, whether it's a native view or web view, you'll be able to see the performance timing of a native view and the onload event for a web view uh, and so on and so forth. So it's exactly what Nick said. If, if a business owner looks at that customer journey, they can go and say, this is the screen, this is the web view or the native view that is really tripping my customers. I want to go and fix that. Gotcha. And if I'm the chief digital officer where I'm responsible for all of this, I can see it all through a single login, see the native app plus the web, all of that. Exactly. Inside the platform. Okay. And then furthermore, if you're a practitioner or engineer that needs to go figure out what I like to call the so what data, we'll be able to supplement all that so that you can actually take this opportunity and figure out what to actually do about it. It's not just opportunity without a without a roadmap this is both opportunity and a roadmap to resolve it the other thing that i i wanted to mention here is uh, our integration with microsoft clarity so some of our customers may know that we have an integration with microsoft clarity it is a free tool that provides analytics heat maps but specifically session replay and so now you can imagine and now we're extending that also to mobile uh, android already exists and ios is right now in beta that there's a specific session that you're analyzing inside the blue triangle polo and you see that something went bad right and now what it can do is actually click on a link and go to microsoft clarity if you have that that sdk inside your application and actually see the user uh, session replay see what they clicked and see where they were paused and, and left the session very, very interesting stuff. Uh, great stuff. So is there anything different about, so native app, there's tons of tools out there. Is there anything different about our native app solution? solution and are they going to get information from it that they can't get from the other tools they might be using? Yeah. So uh, going going back to the topic of the business impact. So we, we actually take uh, the technical metrics that we, uh, that we collect, including the user behavior analysis, and we combine that into impact on the business outcome, be it revenue or session conversion. And so, again, when you think about of all the things that I could be working on today, what is most impactful? What is that uh, page or view or customer interaction that is tripping up my customers? What is that one thing that I can work on? So a lot of tools out there may take you into a waterfall chart and you'll be able to kind of, you know, reverse engineer and understand what, what might be uh, going wrong. But it doesn't mean that that's the thing that's going to be most impactful. If you start from the very top analysis, what is my business outcome and what's impacting it? And then drill down into that waterfall chart or that page etc. What is that timing metric that's going to ensure that you're working on what's important for the business? Gotcha. So it's really for people who are looking to how to improve their conversion rates, how to people who are using the app. The app users are often their most loyal customers, right? The people are going to download an app and use it continually. So how can they deliver a better, more frictionless experience for those users who are their most frequent and most loyal customers and improve conversion rates ultimately and drive more revenue or whatever the business outcome is. Customers who are interested in this functionality, they're going to have to add an SDK. There are some other things they need to go through. So they should go ahead and reach out to their account manager if they don't currently have it so that they can get that added into their account and start to get that benefit for native app.